deleted by YouTube on December the 17th, 2017, demonetized during our comeback in January 2019, and then shadow banned in May of that year, slowly the life has been squeezed out of the Lost History channel, but we are fighting back, and fighting back hard every day. This is the channel that refuses to go away, but things are tough, and we do need your support. Please take a moment and check out the links provided. Please thumbs up this video if you have appreciated it and please comment below. Audience engagement is vital for this channel, so please engage with this channel as much as possible. Let them be seen for the destruction they are causing us. Thank you. Wait till you hear this. Found in the town of Coltilenchan near Taloc Mountain in the state of Mexico and weighing 168 tons, this is the largest existing monolith in the Americas. This statue was made of basalt and weighed an estimated 168 tons. It was moved to the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City in 1964. Triloc, the provider, had attributes of the rain. He created and brought down the rain and the hail. He caused the trees, the grass, the maize to blossom, to sprout, and to grow. Also attributed to Triloc was the thunderbolts and the drowning of people. At the site of the Temple of Jupiter in Baalbek, there are stones to be found that are out of this world. These stone trilithon blocks are weighing well over a thousand tons each, and the moving and placing of these have been the subject of much debate since even before Roman times. Not only can these things not be moved in the today and now, they also prove that our conventional idea that a society could not move these things simply by using rope and brute strength, these enormous stones would suggest overwhelmingly that we are missing a big part of the picture. Theories on what the original purpose of such stones are always leaning towards an advanced industrious past in a time of history that we are told we were only just becoming conscious, yet here we are witness to something so mind-numbingly impossible based on the standard we are told. We can't stress how massive these blocks are guys and there are others in the region weighing 1500 tons and another one weighing over 2000 tons, eye wateringly heavy especially by today's standards and the ancients were seemingly making these things with apparent ease. The so-called Stone of the South or the Stone of the Pregnant Lady are still close to the quarry, but it is thought their purpose was the same as the place Trilithon stones, however they were never used according to archaeological examinations, it is still one of the greatest mysteries that we are confronted with today. The age of the builders is vastly unknown and unacknowledged as ever happening in a time before written history began. These were achieved in the before time. This is why we are not understanding very well, because the civilization who created such things has since vanished from this planet. There were many stone movers in the ancient world, from Stonehenge to Machu Picchu. Ancient peoples found a way to move stones of massive proportions. The Almec of Central America moved enormous stone heads, possibly by floating them down rivers on rafts. The Inca created mountaintop kingdoms out of enormous yet intricately fitted stones, each dragged for dozens of miles, and the Eastern Islanders carved and moved some of the largest stone sculptures ever created. 
You really do have to wonder why. Why are these people creating these enormous things so majestically and effortlessly out of the heaviest and densest materials available? And what did they cut them with? The location of the megalithic structure is atop of a hill in the region known as Tel Baalbek. Numerous archaeological expeditions have gone to the site starting in the 19th century, primarily German and French groups, and research continued into the 20th century. Each one of these stones is 19 meters long, 4.2 meters high, 3.6 meters thick, and weighs over a thousand tons. The supporting stone layer beneath features a number of stones, which weigh an estimated 350 tons and are 11 meters wide. We will leave it at that for the moment, guys. You can let us know what you are thinking, and as always, thank you for watching.